Oh, I know, girl. My hair is getting long. <laughs> Don't play with me. <laughs> yeah. Sugar baby. Sugar baby. Nice whip. Nice crib. Nice crib. I want this. I want I that. Want he that. give it to me. What's pop like and dropping, honeys? It's your girl Melodia today checking in with y'all. So today is Tuesday. It is, hold on, girl, let me check my phone and see what time it is. But it's 4.58. I just got done with some wigs. If you don't know, honey, I'm a wig assassinator, hair assassinator. I'm really good at doing hair. I taught myself how to do wigs because I didn't like the way hairlines look, etc. And so about two years ago I started my own business and thankfully it's going strong still so definitely go check out my wig line slash extension line whatever you want to call it sugar baby hair but I haven't ate all day I just got done working so I'm about to go get me something to eat go get me a bottle and I'm actually going to be showing y'all how to style your wigs. I have um, this company, Ship Me Out a Wig. I want to give a shout out to Ali Pearl Hair. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. They sent me a nice black bob, like curly wig. So I'm going to style it, freak it, you know, funk it a little bit and show y'all how I like to style my wigs and pluck them, etc. So you could probably learn you a few tips or you'll see how I do it and, you know, want to shop with me or Ali Pearl hair you got two people here you can get a discount from when it comes to hair and Ali Pearl definitely makes really good wigs I can't wait to show y'all what they sent me but before I sit down and do that with y'all I'm gonna go get me a bottle I guess I'm gonna eat girl because I'm starving I'm not sure what kind of bottle I want yet I'm thinking wine or maybe some chocolatini that I had in my last video. I'm not sure. And food, I'm definitely getting me some sushi. Y'all know I love me some sushi, honey. So definitely finna go get me some of that. I brushed my hair today, y'all. Don't I look cute? I don't ever, I don't know why I don't ever be doing my hair. I guess it was damaged for a little while there and I was just really, really disappointed about it. So just like girl no gotta do something with this cabeza but y'all life has been good so I'm going to New York for New Year's Eve thankfully my honey baby bought us some tickets to go out there to kiss each other when the ball drop you know how we do and but you see I have to get vaccinated for the trip because they will not allow you to be in Times Square, New York City, if you are not vaccinated. They have a vaccine mandate. So, girl, I really want to go to New York. Like, I really, really want to go to New York. So, I'm thinking about getting vaccinated so that way we can go. I'm not sure which one to get. They have like a Johnson & Johnson. They have another one and they have another one but I'm not really sure which one I want oh my gosh like I literally almost just hit that pole so if y'all know which one's the best to get definitely let me know I know there's a Pfizer one Johnson & Johnson and there's another one um, I'm thinking about getting the Johnson & Johnson one but then somebody else told me that the Pfizer one is well my man told me that the Pfizer one is the most effective and nobody has problems with that shot so I'm probably gonna get that one I'm definitely going to get it though. I'm just a little nervous about it because I to always told myself I'm not going to get a shot. But I'm up here right now. I just pulled into the farmer's market. I'm about to get my sushi from here. I don't know if I brought my mask. I did bring my mask. See, I'm going to get my sushi from in here. They have really good sushi and it's really reasonably, reasonably priced. So yeah, honey, let me go get my sushi real quick. So I got me a rainbow roll and then I got me a crunchy California roll honey when I say huh huh do you see this food delicious girl so I'm into sushi right now, salmon, fish, trying to eat good, 
you know, preserve this, preserve this body. You no. Know. And I always eat mine with soy sauce. And of course, I always get my chopsticks, girl. I don't like eating it with forks because I just feel like I'm not eating sushi. Like, you gotta have your chopsticks with you. So, let's dig into this one. I'm probably not gonna eat both of them. I'm probably just gonna taste a little bit from each. But this is the Crunchy California Roll. Mm. Next, I'm gonna try my rainbow roll. Put some soy sauce over this. I don't know why I be liking these raw fish ones, but I just be loving the salmon ones. They taste so good. I'm gonna start over here. Look at that. Uh huh. Mmm. All right, honeys, so I just got home. Now I'm gonna jump right into this video and show y'all how I style my wigs. First, like I already told y'all, Ali Pearl sent me this hair. So again, I told y'all Ali Pearl sent me this hair. Big shout out to them. So they sent me a black bob wig. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up with y'all so we can see how it looks. Thankfully, they have it bagged up. And then they also have it with a hair net around it, which helps keep it nice and slinky, you know, especially when it has curls. You know how the curls are all slinky? I love it. I love it when it comes nice, nicely wrapped. So this is how the wig looks that they sent me. It is super wavy, super curly. I like it. It's a bob wig. I've been wanting me a nice, a nice length bob wig. So here this goes. I'm going to wash it first because you don't ever just want to um, put the hair on your head. You always want to wash it. So I'm going to wash it out first and then blow dry it. And then I'm going to style it how I want to. I also am going to have to put my hair up, put it in little braids real quick so we can really see how this wig is going to fit on my head. They have it parted already pre-plucked hairline, which I definitely really appreciate. The inside of the wig comes with clips on both sides and then it also has a clip right here at the end so you can safely secure this into your hair that way it's not falling all over the place and then as you can see the lace is very transparent it matches my skin really really nicely if you can see that it matches really nice looks really good and then these are the curls super bouncy so while I'm doing this, I'm also going to be sipping on me a little bit of Crown Apple. This is one of my new favorite drinks. I used to be a tequila drinker, but for some reason I have really been liking this Crown Apple. So girl, if you want to pop your bottle open and sip with me, let's cheers together. Cheers to much success, okay, and wealth. Girl, drink up. I love me some Crown Apple. I should have got some Coke with it. But I feel like it already has liqueur in it. So, you know, no need to mix with anything. And Ali Pearl also sent me a few perks inside of their box. So they sent me a nice head wrap scarf. They sent me, I believe this is a bonnet. Let's see what this is. Oh no, this is a scarf as well. Or is it a tassel? Oh, it's a scarf, so whenever you are doing your lace, you can put that on. They also sent me some 25 milliliter lashes, which I really appreciate. Everyone loves them some nice lashes. They sent me a edge brush. They sent me a hair care booklet on how to maintain and comb out your wig. They sent me a wig cap.
cap, which I appreciate. And then I believe I got another scarf also. So they sent me like three different lengths of scarves. Well, di three different widths of scarves. One of them big, one of them medium, and one of them really small. And then also they sent me an elastic band. So if you wanted to sew an elastic band onto your wig to make it more secure, you could use this. I'm not going to be doing that tonight because it's going to take me too much work, you know. And then, honey, they have a bag for your wig, which I really appreciate. I do have wig heads at my... I do have wig heads at my warehouse, so if I'm not going to be wearing this wig, it will be on a wig head. But these also come in handy just in case my wig heads are full and I need something to put my wig in. We got this, girl. So I really like it. It's really, really cute. So it's 100% unprocessed human hair. It says 100% unprocessed human hair. So let's jump into this because I need my hair done. And yeah, this ponytail is cute. But we always love to get our hair done, girl. And y'all don't get y'all need to be doing y'all's hair too while y'all are watching this video, girl. Get a brush, comb your head. You know we gotta be looking cute. As you can see me, girl. Look at my ponytail. My ponytail got so long, like don't play with her. She is not one of them. Okay, I need somebody, a hair company, to send me a ponytail. That's what I want. I want a ponytail, so when I want to start putting my hair in a nice ponytail, because it's already doing good by itself, but you know, we always like a little bit of extra, so send me a ponytail, girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. She wanna know me, I stay low-key, all gas, no brakes, baby, let them hoes sleep Body on to make your girl OD, I get in my way, never out of my lane Feel like you the one and I'm on one, so what is gonna be? Baby squad up, we finna go deep, is you riding on So I just got done washing my new wig, I have my head here that I'm gonna show y'all how I get everything set up with so this head that I'm using is a size 24 head, as you can see right there, honey. So I like a bigger head mainly because I have a big head and I also have hair on my head, girl. I got a lot of hair here. So I need a bigger head that way my hair fits in there and my head is also secure. So all the wigs that I make is with the size 24 and they all, they fit everyone. They're for size, they're, they are one fit, girl, I can't talk one size fits all that's what i meant to say and so the wig here um it has latches on the back which i really like which because it helps you size it to fit your head you can see right there so before i get started on my head i'm gonna pin her down you can get these safe well they're not safety pins they're pins like this you can get them and of course the end is pointed you can get these from the beauty supply store i'm going to pin it down on three different sides that way the wig does not move while i'm brushing it and styling it and it's you know more security for me that way i, I can do what i need to do and get it done so first of all you want to make a part in your wig first there was a part here but i kind of messed it up a little bit so i'm going to get it going again I already have a part marked down on my head. That way any wig I put on here, I can pretty much already figure out where the part needs to go. So like for instance, you could see I have it marked right here already on my head. So all I have to do is get my comb and comb straight through. Just like that. My thing wasn't tight, it kept going down. And just brush it all the way out. 
It makes it easier for you to work with it. And I'm going to use my hot comb layer to make sure that the part is nice. I'm doing this one with a straight part because my red wig, if you've seen it, I already have a side part with that one. And I don't want all my wigs to have a side part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to listen to some Young Dolph while I finish this part. And when I'm done with my part, I'm going to show you how it looks. so I just finished blow drying my new wig the hair looks really nice I love it and of course I put in there a nice part so it'll look more natural when I'm wearing it I am now going to lay out the lace even though the lace is already flat I want to go ahead and just you know do my little thing that I always do with my wig so the reason why I use my electrical hot comb is because sometimes your hairs on your wig can go different ways. And so to secure the way that you want your hair to be laid and to make sure it goes that way, you want to use your hot comb. And it's basically just going to press down everything and secure it. I'm going to show you right now. Let me go ahead and plug it in. And it goes up to 500 degrees. It doesn't have a setting on there, but honey, this thing gets hot. You just want to turn it on and then watch that thing get hot, honey. All right, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and show y'all how I use my hot comb and what's the purpose for it. You're going to notice it really quick. So I've let my hot comb sit already for a while. So I'm just going to go ahead and start applying it through the hair. You want to be very careful because the hot comb does get really hot. And... Honey, when I say it could burn through your lace, it can burn through your lace. I've done it before by accident because I let it sit too long. But you just want to take it through there. You see how nicely it lays it down? And then what I like to do is part it, is part the hair and go through this side also. I'm going to make sure it's all nice and flat. I love for my hair to be laid and slayed to the gods, honey. And this is how you can get it like that. Like for instance, this one. Ouch, I burnt myself by accident.
Now tell me you don't, you didn't see that. The way it's slicked down like that. Don't lie, honey. So for this wig, I'm not gonna straighten it. I decided that I want to crimp it. And I'm not gonna crimp it like the old school crimpers. I'm actually gonna be using my crimper here that I got from the beauty supply store. And with it, I'm going to be using my oil sheen that I also got from the beauty supply store. I use the oil sheen with my crimper, that way my crimps don't come out hard. And that way they're nice and shiny and it just looks way better. And it also protects your hair other than using hairsprays. If you use hairsprays and then put heat on it, it can really badly damage the hair and the hair will just start breaking off. So make sure you get you some oil sheen, put it on the lace, put it on your hair, spray it all over the place, honey. And I already evaluated the wig. It's already nicely linked. Like I don't have to go through and cut anything. So I'm not gonna waste or bother with, you know, trimming it or anything like that. As you can see, the length is all pretty much even. So I don't have to cut anything. So I'm gonna be using my clips that I also got from the beauty supply store. I'm pretty sure y'all have all seen a clip like this. I'm just gonna go through and part the hair. And by the way, this wig is really thick. If you can't see, like it's really, it's a lot of hair. So I really like that, because I love a lot of hair on my wigs. Like when I get long hair, I usually get about five bundles because I like for my stuff to be really thick. So I love that this wig is super, super thick. Some more oil sheen here. And y'all, don't forget to turn off your, your hot comb because baby, this thing will burn through rubber and surely your skin. So make sure you turn off your hot comb that way you do not burn yourself. I have burned myself so many times. Now I have scars all over my hands from burning myself with flat irons and stuff. So turn off your hot comb. All right. Let's see how the first one comes out. I got it on the heat on 430 because this hair is new and it's fresh, and I want it to be pressed really nice. I only hold it on there for about 10 to 15 seconds, and no longer than that. Because if you hold it on any longer than that, you're surely gonna fry your wig, and the hair is just gonna start falling off. So just hold it on for about 10 to 15 seconds. Don't forget, use oil sheen. It, it looks, it's just, it's gonna come out looking amazing, so. I'm gonna do the first row. We'll put this hair up here. I'm gonna do the first row. That's how that one came out. And then I'll show y'all what it looks like when I'm done. Hey honey, I just wanted to interrupt you real quick. Go check out my new lip glosses that I just came out with. Well, they're liquid lipsticks but they're gloss, of course, they're glossy. I have matte lipsticks also, but I wanted to go with the gloss ones first. Voila, you don't need much. Oop. <laughs> this is color Sugar Baby. Shop with me. <laughs> All right, so this is how the first row of waves look. It looks really nice. I love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish styling this wig and I'll check in with y'all when I'm finished. I just got done with my new wig. Let me know if y'all like it, if you like it. If you love it, this is how the waves came out. They look so beautiful. And then here is the front. 
The front looks really nice. Let me bring it back for you so you can see the front, the side, the back, the other side, and of course, a nice close up. Don't play with her. She is not one of them. So, do not forget, you can go get this wig in the same link. <laughs> Alright y'all, so my light went off, it died, so that's why it looks a little different now. <laughs> but so this is <laughs> hold on, it's a little too bright. I'm about to go ahead and braid my hair up real quick and put the wig on. Don't forget that you can go get this wig right here, the same one. With my discount code, I'm going to put the discount code right here and all the details will be in my description box. Go get that wig. You know, Black Friday is coming up. You have no idea how much of a percentage off they're going to do on this wig on Black Friday. So go check them out, honey. And I'm going to go ahead and install this wig. So come with me, girl. Mm -hmm. So I got this ponytail in. Well, not in. It's my hair. It's, uh, I'm talking about But... Uh, there we go so when I'm applying my wigs I don't really do too much especially if I already have my hair up so honestly all I'm going to do right now is part my hair down the middle and braid it but before I do that I'm gonna put some of my honey hydrate in my hair from Camille Rose you could find this in the beauty supply store I'm going to go ahead and put some of that in my hair. It smells just like honey. Because you know we're trying to grow our hair out right now, honey. We ain't got time for that. We are go It's about to be 2022. Are you trying to go into the new year bald-headed? I mean, if you like to have short hair, that's cool. But if your hair is damaged like mine, I used to be bald-headed, girl. I was bald-headed, too. I had to cut all my hair off because it was dead. It was dead at the ends, and I just could not do anything. It was musty, crusty, dusty, dusty, and had to go. Okay, so I cut it, and I recently bleached my hair, and it's recovering again. So that's why I like to put in me something that's going to moisturize my hair. This Honey Hydrate is a leave-in conditioner it's their leave-in collection honey you can find this at the beauty supply they are not paying me for this i'm just letting y'all know what i put in my hair so yes girl go check that out i don't have no discount code for them so <laughs> girl you know <laughs> don't mind me i'm just letting y'all know what i'm putting in and that's what i'm gonna have in my hair <laughs> that's what I'm gonna have in my hair for this rest of this video Ooh, I know girl my hair is getting long <laughs> don't play with me <laughs> so I'm gonna braid my hair into some cornrows now girl these cornrows do not have to be perfect because remember we're gonna take this out anyway this wig is specifically to protect your hair and that way you can grow your hair out or just you know some girls just like to have fun and they just like to wear wigs wigs are not just for people who don't have hair wigs are for everybody they're for people who have alopecia people who have cancer people who don't have confidence people who want their hair a little thicker people who don't want to touch their hair you know or people who are trying to grow their hair out wigs are for so many different reason is reasons it's not just for people who do not have hair you know it's not just for women of color and it's not just for ethnic women I know a lot of white girls that wear wigs Mexican girls that wear wigs I know all different types of women that like to wear wigs it's not just one group of you know of a woman that wears a wig so there is my cornrow it's not perfect you know but it is it's gonna it's gonna do what I need it to do and I'm gonna go ahead and put some more honey on my braid and then I noticed that my hair wasn't completely saturated so I want to put some more on there 
because tomorrow I'm going to wash my hair out and this is going to do what it do while it's sitting underneath the wig tonight. So again, we're going to park here, go three ways, just like that. One, two, and three, and just get to braiding. If you didn't learn how to braid a long time ago, I'm sorry for you, honey. But I learned how to braid a very long time ago, so this ain't nothing to a G, you feel me? Whatever you do, remember to get paid, okay? I know that's right. So now that you got your braids, we're going to go ahead and put our wig cap on. Here's my wig cap. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, so here's my wig cap. You just... Rip it open, put on out, here we go, and then it comes with one, two. So it has two wig caps in there. So the first one, what I'm going to do, well first what I'm going to do, somebody done stole my, my bobby pins. I'm mad. Somebody stole my bobby pins. I'm really, I'm serious, sis. Like, how can you steal my bobby pins, though? Like, what I do to you to deserve this? So what I was gonna do is bobby pin it, just like this. But since I don't have bobby pins, I'm gonna do it like that, and then pull my cap right over it, just like that. So that way it's nice and flat. You see? It's nice and flat. And then I'm going to push this up to my hairline. Oh wait, girl, let me scoot let me scoot these back. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave my no, I'm gonna put my sideburns up also. Like that. Literally right on it. And then get that got to be glue. On there. Rub it on in. If you ordered from AliExpress, you already know that they have some ribbons for your hair. So I'm going to get this AliExpress ribbon and tie it really tight just like you got a cone head girl <laughs> roll it roll it to the top grab it and then tie it Let's see what has come. Always remember pull forward. Okay, cool, it's nice. Now I would cover this all up too, but of course I'm just wearing it for tonight. So it's not like, I don't care how really precise it is right now, but this will work. I do wanna show you how to actually lay your wig. And that's about how big my forehead is, <laughs> girl is big all right so now what i'm gonna do is snatch this girl oh no i can't girl 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 oh girl i was like oh it's not coming it's not coming off but you see that is why you pin your wig okay because girl i was like hold up honey this this wig ain't moving like at all hold on where's the other clips at? i know it's another one in the middle i'm not putting ones on the side so that's two and i but i know i put three so that's two I know I 
gonna put three. I couldn't feel it. Three. All right. So there is your wig, just like that. And what I'm gonna do before I put my wig on is I'm gonna spray the top with got to be glue. Because I like for my top, the top of my hair on my wig to stay the way it was when I styled it. So I'm gonna go just like that, spray the got to be glue, and then brush the hairspray in, that way it stays. And then after you brush it into where it stays, spray it again to secure what you just brushed and then blow and once you're done blow dry it leave it on there for about 30 seconds I'm gonna start from right here And just cut just like that. Same on this side. Make sure you cut it perfectly because how you cut it depends on how it lays. Leave just enough lace to lay it. And that was a perfect cut. Now let's get this bitch up on here. Just like that. Alright, so as you can see, we got it on there finally. We got the braids under, the clip in the back is secure. So now what I'm going to do is spray this again on this side, just like that. And I'm going to also spray it on this side. Now this second spray is to secure the lace. This lace sticks so easy to Got To Be Glue. Whoever thought of Got To Be Glue is literally a genius. Okay, honey? So you spray that right on there. You want to lay it on the top. As you can see, it blends perfectly to my scalp. There's no issues at all. And then what I'm gonna do is get my Ali Pearl band again for a little while. And then we'll be, I'll be back in a minute to check in with y'all so that y'all see how it looks. All right, honey, I literally just took the lace off. The part is literally in the middle of my head, like literally. I did the part really, really nice. So that's the part of my hair. Of course, I'm not going to just leave it like this. I'm going to do a little something, something with it now that I see how it fits on my head. Um, I'm going to show y'all what I do with it. But all right, so what I'm gonna do next is make my hairline a little bit more realistic. Let's see, I'm gonna wet and move this over all of it. Move it all over. Now, what you want to do when you have a wig is you want to mimic an actual hairline. You want it to be as realistic as possible. So, as you can see, I'm getting all of this hair that is not realistic and getting it scooted. Because realistically, People don't have hair just flat out on their hairline. So you want to get it as realistic as possible. So that's really, all this is really realistic. Now all I got to do, as you can see, it lifted a little right here. 
So if you get a lace that is too long, what you want to do is cut it. So you want to cut, so you can see my lace is too long. It, it covers my ear basically. So you want to pull it up a little bit here and kind of just fill it. So what you would do is cut the lace from here to ear, from here to here to fit your ear. So I'm going to part the lace right here, pull it up, part again, pull it up, part again, pull it up. Make, that way you make sure you got the hair that, you, that you're going to be cutting. So you got it right there, my ear is here, so now what I'm going to do is cut So now the lace is here and I can put it behind my ear, just like that. So I'm going to spray here, rub it in and get the lace to cover up my edge right there. And you'll just place it and hold your blow dryer to it and it will stick. And to make sure that your lace is stuck to your edges as so. To make sure that your lace is stuck, what you're going to do is spray right there. Just like that, blow dry it. Hard toothbrush, just like that. Now I'm going to manipulate the edges here in a little bit, but right now I'm just going to leave it as it is. As you can see, it looks really good. I could tuck this behind my ear. I could put a mask on because, you know, COVID is going on right now. You could put a mask, whatever. So, so this is the finished look that I got for my wig from Ally Pearl Hair. Check it out. This is where it ends. side, the back, the other side, and then the front again. And check out the front. So this is the front. And of course I have my baby hairs that I put here. I feel like if you have a middle part, you should always have your middle part like a widow's peak. Don't put baby hairs right here because it's just not realistic. Do it like this. As you can see, I have the baby hairs on this side as well. And this is how I like to wear my wig. Hey y'all, it's your girl Malaysia. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Don't forget to subscribe so you can be one of the first to be notified when I drop a new vlog. Don't forget, scared feet don't eat and a closed mouth won't get fed.